Hi right, everyone, today I'm here to talk about the Motorola Atrix 4G. Um, I'm going to show you a preview of this uh, of this application as highlighted right here. Uh, it's called Automatic Unlock version 4.2 for the M M Motorola Atrix 4G. Now this does everything from unlocking your bootloader to rooting your phone installing custom recovery as well uh, and more okay, uh, and also fix it fixes your um, Motorola Atrix if you have if you have um, hard br bricked it as well now the only thing you need to install is the USB drivers for your Motorola Atrix 4G which I will place a link in the description or if I believe if I'm correct, uh, um, or when you download RSD Lite, it also puts the uh, the um, the drivers for it. I, I'm not sure. I, I remember how I did it, but I, I also have the USB driver. I'll put a link in the description. And basically, I will. Sh the main purpose of this video is to show you um, about the RSD Lite. But now, here we go. This. You just go in here now the reason why you don't need Android SDK or anything on your um, at all installed at all this has fast boot ADB everything is already in there all you need to do is come down click on this batch file called main right here when it does it brings this up okay it brings up a CMD window uh, exe okay now all you do is choose what you want to do now I've unlocked uh, um, I'm gonna show you how to how to unlock your boot loader using this app? I'm gonna give you a little preview because um, the main purpose of this video is to show you how to relock, and I, I'll repeat again how to relock your Motorola Atrix boot loader. Even though XDA forms f I have said that is no it's not not possible once you have unlocked once you have unlocked it it cannot be relocked. But I'm here to show you that it can, and once it's re relocked it can. It, um it's easier to it's easier to unlock again and it's very easy you wouldn't even have to follow every step that this um application will tell you to do you don't need to follow the first step and it will be unlocked anytime after that now my phone rate is version 4.5.91 which does not follow the methods of the previous firmwares so when I first did this, I could have sworn I broke my phone. You know, so I, you know, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought I broke. I was on the phone with AT and everything until I found this app right here, and it says right here. I don't know if, how clear you can see this, but it says, it says, apply fix for fail to boot zero x one thousand, no OS user. Okay, I I did get this and I used this to fix it, but then I realized this. Then the, with, with this application, I realize it, t it tells me when I follow the step from my firmware version. Well, it tells you as, it, as you're doing it, if you're on firmware version 4.5.91, that you should see, if you see a 0x1000, you should see a 0x1000, don't panic. It's supposed to happen. Now, yes. So in order, if you tried this in the, before using the other methods and did that, and you hard bricked your... Motorola Atrix 4G. Apparently, it has to be hard bricked in order for it to be un unlocked. And that was uh, the, thanks to this app. I knew that I was I, I, was, I, I was panicking. I just had my phone a few hours, and I, I, I've already broken it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, like I said, my, I have I have un relocked my boot loader, so I I don't have to go through every all the steps so this is only a preview um, so here we go I'm gonna give you a preview and the first thing you want to do is to get your phone into RSD protocol and by do, to do that you would want to hold on volume up while holding on volume while holding on power down holding the power button down at the same time which will bring up this these text, this text on the screen, should be should be seen it there. Don't know how clear this is. 
but it's just it's the starting RSD protocol support. Okay, I'm gonna leave that here for a second because I did that too early. But okay, then uh, what I want to do here, since I want to do uh, automatic bootload unlock for a for ATT Atrix 4G only, I don't know if it works for overseas, but it only works. According to this app, it only works for the for the U, 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 U.S. version of the Atrix. Now, you want to press one. I press one. Enter. It says, please disconnect USB cable from PC for and phone slash phone, and, and turn off your your phone. Well, I already have my USB connected into my phone, but not into the PC. I tried making this video before and trying to put it in with one hand, and the phone just drops. So to prevent that. I just put it even in the phone but plug it out from the PC because it's easier to connect to the computer than the phone. Okay, now it says press volume up key in in your phone and hold while you turn it on. Wait until the tag started the tag starting RSD protocol support comes up like I showed you just now and release volume up key. Press anything. Ah oh, shoot. Now Okay, now it, I just accidentally skipped some some of the uh, the stuff. Now, a uh, step the, 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 one of the steps is asking me to connect my phone to my comp computer. So I'm gonna do that right now, and voila, there it is. Now it's connected. Now it's asking you to pick the firmware, because apparently for firmware version 2.3.4 and 4.5.9 uses the same unlock method. Okay, now I'm just gonna pick as you can see here. She's asking me, please select your actual ATT version. Now I'm on version three, my version is on the three. I'll press three as you can see and enter. I enter. Now it brings this up and it's going to start into uh to unlock the phone. It's connected and it's starting to unlock the phone. As you can see my phone already did it and it's already going to see the unlock comes up on top of the screen okay. if I'm correct it's going to restart a couple of times because I've done this before and I was, I was all, it's already unlocked because I, I have unlocked this before okay. and, and as you okay. see it's still executing and it's doing, it's doing what it's supposed to do here okay now it's still, it's still doing a few things right now and when this finishes it'll be um it'll be completely unlocked now as as i mentioned before the first time i did this i i my phone hard bricked and then i had to continue the rest of the steps like um this when this window will come up and it will hard break and then when i go back here if i'm correct this is the, um see this is not because it can it it's, it's still doing its thing usually it'll be it'll be hard bricked and it'll tell you don't panic if you're on version and you see that you know if you see that just um just follow these the rest of the steps okay okay now now my it's, it still has to do a few more things and it will be finished soon uh, and it doesn't take a long time well the first time it will take a long time but I say about five minutes because it, the brick and all that stuff but since like I said before I've done this before it's easier for me so this is gonna be done in a few seconds and I'm just waiting for it to finish flashing and if, excuse me now I I will resume this video when it's finished so I can okay uh okay when it's finished and I'll show you the rest